obviously KPD's house was raided last month. Have you heard from police at all? Has this led to anything that will help to make an arrest? Uh, Las Vegas Homicide did contact us. Like, but after, you know, after I did the CNN interview, yeah. they, they did contact us. Maybe out of guilt, I don't know, but I don't know. But we will see. Uh, the guy who contacted us has already retired. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. I don't yeah, know. there seems to be um, a loophole that Tupac's death continues to fall in. Um, but as Shakur is, we're used, kind of used to not being able to trust the legal systems to to protect us in that way. Um, this I don't even want to say this man's name or his nickname or whatever. But um, my brother is gone. Yeah, and it's affected my entire life and my children's life and my siblings' lives, my parents. And um, for whatever Tupac meant to the world, he meant 500 times more to us. So his death is not taken lightly. Yeah. And so I hope just in having faith in the universe, having faith in anything good, that, um, that his death will have some kind of justice, yeah. for sure. We don't know anything about the, the guy, and uh, yeah. we all waiting to see. Yeah. Like I said, everybody get your popcorn, because we don't know anything, and uh, it doesn't appear, you know, this investigation has been robust in the, in the smallest way. You think it was a good idea to raid the house? I have. No idea. <laughs> Thank you guys. Ask, ask the Las Vegas sir. Uh, unless he just never cleaned up for 30 years. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it's a really long time I've to wait. Raised, but I've, raised, I've raised two children in this time. They're all adults mm. and their rooms are clean. Like, I don't, I can't go back to see <laughs> what they did 30 years ago and find, I don't know what they would find. Yeah how they could find something 30 years later. But if they did, they, I really hope so. They, they took like hard drives and, su and stuff like that. Were they hard drives back then? Don't know. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. I just hope. And I yeah. pray that my brother's death comes, um, has some justice to it. The Shakur legacy is way mm. bigger than um, rap. And it's way bigger than violence. It's way bigger than the story of, of bank robbery or things like that. Um, the Shakur legacy is of healing and love and um, the music industry has to be, should be very careful about trying to um, control the, the narrative of who the Shakurs were because sure. the work that our family, our parents have done is way bigger than hip hop. I wanted to ask, how, how did his teachings influence Tupac's music? Hmm. I mean, one of the reasons that TMZ is with us today mm -hmm. <laughs> is because Pop screamed his name out on records. Yeah. Everybody knows the lines. Yeah. Ride from a two like we ride for Geronimo. Like that's, 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 that's family. You know, yeah. uh, uh, the, the, the impact of this family is substantial. Yeah. And I feel like our job now is to carry it forward responsibly, you know, we have uh, uh, a Fanny's legacy of, of tenants' rights. Mm -hmm. We have Pac and I's legacy of mu music. We have Matulu's health legacy. And, um, you know, the positive things this family was able to produce, we want to keep pushing. Yeah. Um, Tupac was raised by this man. So yes. Yeah. His, his, his everything who he was was formulated and sculptured by the presence and the absence of this man mm -hmm. in his life. And yeah. so the reason why we have a Tupac is because his father was a political prisoner, his father was a, a activist, his father was a healer, and then taken from him, and he was left to fulfill, to do his best to fulfill his father's um, dreams. We're fighting the um, former record executive Tom Wally okay. um, who has um, not handled um, not uh, executed my mother's trust properly yeah and, and it's part of the bastardization of um, how the Shakur name is being played out um, so we're working towards reclaiming that with the help of our attorneys Londell McMillan Donald David um, we're not afraid of making sure that 
the, the at least the legacy of the Shakur family stays intact and stays within the ch their children. Mm -hmm.